All right, here we're going to start looking at some examples using the direct comparison test. So in part A here, we have the series from 1 to infinity of e to the 3 over n squared, all divided by n. So, you know, kind of looking at this, uh, I think probably, I, you know, I don't know. The, I think the first thing that would be easy to sort of be thrown off by would be the e to the exponent. You know, it's kind of like what's going on with that stuff, especially as n gets bigger. Um, you know, we can do a couple things here. Notice if we just plug in values. If we plug in n equals 1, we would get e to the third in the numerator. Then if we plug in 2, we'll get e to the 3 fourths. Then if we plug in n equals 3, we'll get e to the 3 ninths, etc. Okay, so again, I'm just kind of looking at values in the numerator. All of these numbers, I mean, will always have some positive exponent. These will, all of these numbers will be uh, bigger than e raised to the 0 power, but e to the 0 power is just 1. Well, so we've got e to the 3 over n squared. That's always going to be larger than 1. And again, this is for values of n that are uh, greater than or equal to 1. So I'm not saying this is true in general. Um, just for the pow powers that we have, uh, you know, or for the, the values that we're using. I guess actually this would always be true for all values of n, uh, this statement, but really it doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's uh, uh, valid for n greater than or equal to 1, that's all that really is important for us. Well, if this is true, well, e raised to the 3 over n squared, if we divide that by n, that's going to be larger than 1 over n. Again, for n greater than or equal to 1. Well, that means the series from 1 to infinity of e to the 3 over n squared over n, that's going to be larger in value than the series uh, associated with n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. But the series on the right, we know that this is a divergent p-series. Uh, in fact, it's the good old harmonic series. Uh, since uh, the series on the right diverges, and we've justified that the series on the left has a larger value, well, we can conclude also that this series must be divergent.